Hello all, Wild for Games here, your Streamlab advisor to help you with everything you need to know about Streamlabs OBS. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about the new Streamlabs browser source integration. Let's go. Now, browser sources are nothing new. They've been around for actually quite some time, but if you're not familiar with what a browser source is, to put it simply, it gives you the ability to take a unique URL and put it within this browser source that will display on your broadcasting service. So that way you can show it to your viewers. It's a really cool feature. So cool, in fact, that Streamlabs actually improved upon it by introducing interactions that you can do on a browser source. That's right, now you can click, scroll, type, and interact with the window that you're displaying within the browser source. And this is awesome because it stops you from micromanaging multiple assets on your stream. Gone are you clicking through different tabs or screen grabbing or window grabbing certain sections of your stream that just become overwhelming as you're trying to concentrate on the content. And with the new browser source integration, it makes it a whole lot easier to concentrate on your stream. Adding the new integrated browser sources on your Streamlabs OBS is really easy. All you need to do is just navigate yourself over to the sources while you're in the studio tab and click the plus sign to add a source. When the sources are displayed, make sure you click on browser source and choose to name it whatever best suits your stream. Then press add source. On the next window, this is where you get to copy and paste your unique URL into the browser source settings menu. Here you can adjust the height, the width, the frames per second, and even add custom CSS for additional customization. You will also notice two additional options. The first one is shut down source when not visible. This means the website or video source will no longer run if you hide the source. When you toggle the visibility of the source back on, the page will refresh and run again. The second is refresh browser when a scene becomes active. This means that the website or video source will continue to run despite not appearing on the screen. However, when you toggle the visibility of the source back on, the page will refresh. If you toggle both of these options off, they will still run in the background, whether they are visible or not. To interact with any of the browser sources that you added, all you need to do is right click on the browser source that you added. You can do this from your source list or you can actually do it on the visual display, whichever is easiest for you. Once you right click on it, all you have to do from there is click on interact and this will populate a window that will allow you to actually interact with the browser source itself. You'll be able to type, scroll, click, and do a whole host of other things that'll allow you to interact with that window. The new Streamlabs integrated browser sources is a really cool asset to introduce into your stream for more engagement and to give that extra little pop to make it stand out, which is what I want for you and of course what Streamlabs wants for you. If you need any more help on how to use Streamlabs OBS better, don't worry. I got your back and Streamlabs got your back. I'm gonna put a video over here on the side that I recommend taking a look at that's gonna help you figure out how to use Streamlabs OBS to the best of its abilities. Once again, my name is Wild and I will see you all in the next Streamlabs video coming up real soon. Take care all and peace.